Hey guys, welcome to That Pedal Show. Dan here. Mick here, hello. So this is one that a lot of you have been waiting for for quite a while. This is our little muff exploration, celebration, little happening. It's a happening of muff. So, what have we got here? We have uh, an original uh, sort of late 60s, early 70s triangle big muff, which is this lovely one just there. And for my money, it has always been the best muff I've ever heard. Belongs to a good friend of mine. Should we just get all the innuendo okay. out, of the, if you would. out of the way now? I don't know quite how we're going to do that, but I just also like to point out that Dan's got his uh, TGR High Egg t-shirt on as well. Um, <laughs> so you'll have, to, you'll have to fill me in. So, okay. Right, so um, fuzz faces I get because mm -hmm. I know the story, interviewed the guys that designed them, been there, done that. This is where it all gets um, a bit fuzzy okay. for me. So explain to me what happened after, after the first phase. So Mike Matthews, yep. the founder of Electro Harmonics, really clever guy, very interesting guy. He of large beard and of, big cigar. And large, large stogie. <laughs> he, uh, back in the late 60s, he wanted to have the, shall we say, the antithesis of the first phase. Yep. He wanted a like a violin sustaining lead so, uh, lead tone basically that would just sustain on and on. This you know he had this idea for the sound, so we started working on the circuit, and he came up with the big muff. Mm. Uh, so actually, I should also just say that we're back in the uh, gig rig HQ. We have come full circle. Come full circle. We're, we're back home, um, and uh, so if you hear like stuff going on, there's a business running out there, so that's why that's happening. Yeah, well, okay. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted once no, again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the good people at home. So, the Big Muff. This is the, um, we're gonna be using the, this is a JTM 45, that's sort of rehoused cabinet. Uh, and the clean sound of that amplifier sounds like this. <laughs> Really hmm. nice. So that's a JTM 45, mm -hmm. as is, or oh, Blues Breaker, in fact, combo yeah. version, because it's got the tremolo in it. That's it. Um, going through a two by 12 Marshall cab. Close so back cabinet. That's what we've got there. Okay. And this is the triangle big muff. <laughs> So, <laughs> so the sustain is just, the, you know, yeah, you could go away and have, have a, a cup of tea, have a bite. No, let's not do that. Uh, amazing sounding thing, mm. right? But very different sounding to a fuzz face. Yeah. Yeah. And presumably it's called triangle because the knobs are arranged in a triangle shape. Yeah. They all sound different, especially now. Mm. You, you know, you, you wouldn't buy an original triangle big muff and expect it to sound like that. They'd have a similar character, but the even when they were originally bought, you know, they were just using the cheapest whatever components they could So find. they're going to vary a lot. Absolutely. So you're saying original. How old's that? Uh, Sorry if you've already said that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this would be from the, it's hard to date, but for like late 60s, early 70s. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yep. then. Then the next big move from the Big Muff, they had the to the red and black Big Muff. Um, you can tell the difference between these primarily because of the way that the pots work. Right. Um, there's an earlier looking version of this where the volume uh, moves from, uh, instead of being the pots that we know, to go from left to right like that. Yeah. It's sort of arranged so that the start point is sort of back here so that the sweep is on the left and then the sweep of the sustain is on the right and okay. then the sweep of the tone is in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're the earlier ones, but this is this one has the sweep, everything's in the center, okay? And that's when they moved to an op-amp circuit. 
right, which is very different to the original transistor circuits that these uh, triangle big muffs have. So if we uh, have a listen to the big muff, the, the standard big muff. And now this is the op amp big muff. The difference mainly in the mid-range. It's a great, great sound. It's just filthy and very scooped mm. mid-range. And then today, this is the, you know, the Nano Big Muff. Um, and it sounds, yeah, we'll have a listen to it. So, original. Other uh, op-amp. And the Nano. So it's got some of the mid-range back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, you know. You're a big fan, I can see. Mm, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, you want, it's okay. It sounds okay. It's not right um, to me. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. And if you're just after a flavor of Big Muff and you've got 50 quid to spend, fantastic. That's it, isn't it? Because absolutely, fuzz just just completely divides people right down the centre. Yep. So you you talk to half a guitarist and they'll say, yeah, uh, fuzz, whatever. Never really got, I never understood it. Can't use it. Every time I step on it during a gig, it just the sound just disappears. That's Definitely. half the world. And then the other half of the world have got 18 fuzz pedals because they love it so mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. There's a character to fuzz, and there's a real dynamic element. The way that the fuzz works with the guitar. Mm. So. If we, now we're gonna check out all these other ones, but I want to hear your Strat now with these three uh, Electro Harmonics Big Muffs. Amp, amp sound. Let's, neck, let's try the neck pickup, shall we? That's better. Okay, uh, triangle Big Muff. <laughs> big, it's fun, isn't it? It's a big scooty Jeez. thing. <laughs> and then the new Nano Big Muff. America! <laughs> sounds actually, it sounds nice at the strat. Yeah. So, three flavors of Ledger Harmonics Big Muff. But, I think because of the old ones are so revered, and so there's been a whole industry built around capturing the sound and the qualities of the old Big Muffs. Also because we've heard them on so many albums. Mm. Um, I, you have to mention David Gilmore because he, he, he's used them so much on so many albums and, the, and he gets amazing results with them. He doesn't, I think, I think the thing that most people miss with that is that he doesn't use them in isolation. He always uses them with EQ and with power boosters and other Yeah, because things. if you say um, Muff Type Fuzz to me, I think immediately of um, a lot of 70s psychedelia, or late 60s psychedelia, yeah. Josh Homme, Queens of the Stone Age, Foo Fighters, yeah. that's the kind of, that's the sort of sound I associate with the Muff sound. Not Gilmore, not that kind no. of fluid lead, really clear I sounding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, of course. That's the pig muff. Oh, I've done that in a few bands. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Electro Harmonics made a lot more muffs than this. Mm. There's the Russian muffs and the Civil War era muffs and all those sorts of things. But that's just a taste of... And within that, they're so varied anyway because uh, the components will vary. Yep. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, just for me, that's my favourite sounding. Yeah. Big muff. Uh, you know, I just really like it. So, okay, let's have a look at, um, if I grab the, the cable from you, we're going to have a look at the Iron Bell from Mojo Hand. This is um, Mojo Hand, the G they make some fantastic things. And, uh, you know, great bunch of guys. They've sent this through to me. What I really like about this is 
it's it's tweakability. And this color knob they have here, you've got your, your volume, your tone, your gain. Yep. But the color is like a presence for like a mid-range presence type Play. thing. So this is the, uh, we'll go from the, my favorite again. Yep. Now the mojo hand. What does the clock face do? That's the that's the volume. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So that sounded to me that sounded slightly less fuzzy and a little bit clearer than the than the than the muff. Yeah. Try turning up the gain range. Yeah. <laughs> It's clearer sounding. I would, I yeah. would, I would have a use for that. That's nice. The now this is really cool. This is um, the Pumpkin Pie by Green Current Pedals. Now what they've done is they've got a couple of different era um, big muffs in one pedal. If we go to the, uh, this is the the RC seventy eight. Which is really nice. I swap the sides on that, and we get this. Big mid scoop, massive bottom end, but then you put them on together. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me have a go on that. I like that. So basically, You've you've kind of got the old one and the new one in the same yeah, chassis, yeah. Uh, or sorry, the the original and the uh, later one in the same chassis. Mm -hmm. Let's have a go then. You notice it doesn't clean up the same way as your as your fuzz faces. Yeah, it, that's why it, I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and because a lot of the time with the, especially the old germanium uh, transistor fuzz faces, really interact with the the mm. impedance and inductance from your pickup coil. These these don't react the yeah. same way. Yeah. So when it's breaking like that, what we're seeing is the the clip so degraded. It's just absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Smashing it to pieces. Yeah. And one so square wave. Yeah. Being smashed by another square wave, and it just compression and harmonics flying everywhere it's it's, it's a lot of fun love it yeah Next. really great <laughs> okay so uh we have the peach fuzz this is i find more of a um aggressive uh type fuzz uh, made by frantine pedals mm. um not available anymore but have a go at this one this is this is really nice try, try it on the neck pickup <laughs> Nice, different, it? yeah, uh, and presumably having it precariously balanced on the board like that makes it sound the way it does. Abs very important, <laughs> very important. The color is also the, the paint job. <laughs> Let's hear that with the, with the Les Paul then.
I like the way that it, it's got that kind of almost clipped, almost got gated or something, even yeah. though it's not gated, but it kind of... It's a lot, yeah, it's, it's a lot more aggressive, but it's got, it still has that sustained thing that the, you know, that the Big Muffs yeah. has. Yeah, really great. Okay, uh, Tim Guitars, uh, an Australian company. Hey. Um, these guys make a really serious about their Big Muff clones. Uh, they, they sound fantastic. So, this is the Big Mud, which is their ram's head muff. <laughs> And that's a lot more similar to yeah. the op amp, yeah. uh, the op amp version. Just big, fuzzy, loads of bottom end, loads of top end. Yeah, much more in common with with this one. That's it. Okay, the fuzz munchkin is even more scooped uh, than the big mud. So the big mud here. But, I mean, it's made for a big wall of noise. Yeah. And it also bypasses, there's a little switch there that you can bypass the volume control. So... It's, I mean, it's full on. <laughs> but, you know, when you just wanted to kick it a little bit more over the edge, just bypass everything and... Yeah, and of course, the, the more mid, the more mid scoopy you make it, the better that's going to sit in. If you've got like loads of guitars laid up behind vocals and stuff, it just sits there as this wall of noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess depending on what amp and what guitar oh, you're absolutely, using, absolutely, absolutely. We'll, we'll do the amp thing yeah, in a minute because, yeah, in addition to the the Marshall here, we've also got like a Fender style amp. So we'll just we've done that. We've touched on that before, but we'll, mm -hmm. we'll just make that point again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, they're fantastic, and you know. It must be said the build quality with all of the, with all of these the new ones, mm. um, the non EH ones. Yes, is is fantastic. Yes, because electro harmonics build quality in the late sixties and seventies was not, you know, it wasn't like it, was it wasn't up there, was spectacular. it? Spectacular. <laughs> oh man, I we'll, we what we'll was do it about the seventies? Fender, Gibson, actually Martin were all right, but yeah, cheap drugs. Okay, that's all I can put it down yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got a, um, an old seventies, uh, the electro harmonics mistress, the electric mistress, and the what, the circuit board on that. I mean, it's just worth seeing how on earth. <laughs> it, but this is this is one of the things. You look at that. There is no way today that any, anyone would put that into production. Just no way. But it sounds phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. You know. Well, I guess also, you know, back then, they weren't looking at stuff like this thinking it was going to be around in 30 years. It was like, you know, things were disposable, yeah, weren't they? Yeah, let's have some fun. I mean, the, you know, these enclosures, the thinnest yeah. thin metal they could get, yeah. you know, and that, you know, it just has a sound. So anyway, on to the last two. We have the new um, muff letter from JHS. Right, this is what everyone's been asking about. This is what everyone's been asking about. Okay. Well, there's been two they've been asking about. There's been this and also the Thorpey Muffer in Cloud. Yeah. Okay. So the Muff Ladder is fantastic. So this is my favorite Big Muff yeah. that I've ever heard before here. This is the original. <laughs> And here is the muff letter. So, what's special about this? He's got the circuits of six big muff pedals in there yep. that you can switch between. Oh, right, okay. Right? Hence what that bottom right knob exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah. So, let's have a look. What we'll do, um, I will hand you the lead. Okay. And I'll just, I will leave it set as this, everything, uh, the, the tone and sustain yep. at noon. And I'll switch between the different big muff sounds. Okay. All right. <laughs>
what's his name? So, it's, it's really clever, really clever. There's, you know, a whole bunch of really great sounding big muff circuits in there. Um, let's, yeah. Let's hear it with humbuckers. Okay. I'll do the switching. Alrighty. I shall abandon my post. So if we start from far left, you've got five big muff circuits and then the JHS yep. big muff circuit. Yeah, yeah. Okay? All right, cool. so here we go. Versatile. Very versatile. Small. Small. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that finding its way under quite a few boards. Yeah. Really great. Really great. Now we have the Thorpey Mushroom Cloud. Mm -hmm. So, now I was lucky enough to play around with the prototype of this. Yep. And. Because you know Thorpey know. and we did the gunshot. We did the, the gunshot. Yeah. In yep. a previous episode. Yes. And, you know, he's. He's the. The most meticulous pedal builder I've ever met. Right? <laughs> the, the guy's an explosives expert in the army. If you're going to be meticulous about your electronics, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. field you're going to be meticulous. And this it totally transfers that mindset into making of his pedals. And the build quality alone is incredible. Just phenomenal. So he brought the prototype over and plugged it in and I thought, I would never need another big muff ever in my life. So, muff room cloud. <laughs> hear that noise or you hear the lack of the noise yeah yeah, right? yeah. it's so quiet and that's yeah. on everything's that's, on that's on as opposed to that's the original <laughs> triangle big muff you know it's yeah, it runs incredibly quietly yeah but what i love about this pedal it has a bass and treble control right right so it has like an active eq circuit mm. like a baxendall type EQ circuit for the for the uh, EQ, and that's obviously problematic because none of the ones do. So there's obviously some reason why they don't have EQ circuits. Well, because it's not part of the original circuit. You know, everyone, the big muff is a you know it's a hallowed thing. And yeah, but that's that's it's kind of mad because most players who I know who aren't really into fuzz are like can't use it too basic. Exactly, exactly. So, so that's the that's the awesome thing about this. You can see the way I've got it set up, and I've just got the bass backed off a little bit, yeah, yeah. and it just sounds mega. <laughs> but I can do the bassy thing. Yeah, it's quite bassy. Phenomenal, but you know, so if you imagine with this EQ circuit, you've got a fixed mid-range point, yep. bass and treble. So if I turn down the bass and turn down the treble, the mid-range. Increase mid-range, yep. yeah, right. So. Right, so mid-range, sort of warm, yep. turn up the bottom end, turn up the top end. It's 
just huge. <laughs> yeah. Um, phenomenal sounding thing. And so flexible. So, for example, we've got the two rocks set up. Okay. Uh, if we have a listen to... Now, the reason we've done this, so... So far throughout the video, what you've heard is the uh, JTM45, and just to say again, it is a JTM45, it's just in a different box. And that's because fuzz pedals work really well with that style of Marshall amp, right? That's it. Because of the way the EQ is, because of the way the front end uh, works, because of the way the gain stages, gain stages are, fuzz tends to work well with those. With a Fender style amp, now this is a Two Rock Studio Pro 35, and this is, it's kind of set up to sound very Fendery. So very clean, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll just demonstrate. So. Yeah, the Les Paul's pushing it a tiny bit. Tell you what, let's do this. Yeah, if you hear it with this, it's kind of, um, you know. So we'll hear that, let's hear that with the, with the JTM45. Yeah, yeah so lo mids loads more mid-range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, in isolation, obviously, you've got the kind of Fender-y clean sound and the Marshall-y clean sound. It changes dramatically when you add pedals, as we know, especially those that don't have a huge mid-hump, right? That's right. So, again, let's have a look at the original Triangle Big Muff into the Marshall. <laughs> Now into the two rock. Yeah. So where the mid range is so prominent in the Marshalls, and it really pushes that fuzz sound because as well, the you know we're not talking about uh, a fuzz that has a massive mid hump here. You yeah. Know, a lot of the a lot of the um, big muffs is quite a scooped quite sound. Which one was that again? That was so that the, was the original. So if we went onto this one, it would disappear, wouldn't it? Let's have a go. So if we go from uh, first one here, so that's with the Marshall. So you hear the, the bottom end yeah. is just so thick and luscious, yeah. um, and it sounds great. Now if we do that with the Thorpey's pedal. Really good coming out of the two rock. Just out of interesting, uh, out of interestingness. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they sound like? Put both amps on. That would sound good, wouldn't it? Let's have a go. It sounds good because it's twice as loud. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Anyway. Good. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just a little celebration of the Big Muff. Yes, a, a, a gallop through uh, Big Muff style uh, fuzzes. Yeah. Did you have a favourite? Uh, I think the Thorpey. Mm. Yeah, um, I would, I've got no, I don't have a lot of love for vintage pedals because sure. I can, I, I'm just, I'm not like you, I'm not technical, so I can't repair them when they break. <laughs> So no, absolutely, that's and that's so a big thing. I like modern stuff because it doesn't break. That's why yeah. I do stuff like this, and mm -hmm. you know. Um, so yeah, Thorpey for me. I think, although uh, I think if I was going for a, for a fuzz, so that I could have lots of different options, I'd go JHS yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, but I think in terms of the, the sound I've enjoyed the most, it's been the Thorpey. Mm. What about you? It's really hard. I love them all. I because. Like children. They, they are. They, they've all got a character. I love the Thorpey. Mm. It's 
I can dial it into anything and it sounds yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. Um, the JHS is so flexible. It's like, okay, there are those mm. circuits and it's not, it's not just different EQ settings. I mean, the switching, the way it's done that is so clever. Mm. It really is. Um, but the Tim Guitars ones, I think are fantastic as well. You know, they're loads of fun. I'd, the, the, Actually, the pumpkin. The pumpkin is yeah, wicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's it's mad, but yeah. it's fantastic. But the Iron Bell, again, that, that sort of mid-presence control, it's really great. You know, I think they've all got their own place. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say I love them all. It's, it's, Sophie, <laughs> it's Sophie's choice. <laughs> um, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you next week. Bye.